I'm going to kick things off. we got a really good line of speakers here. I'm going to be heading off to my friend and fellow organizer, Morris Stevens. My name is uh, Isaac Silverman Gorn. I'm representing Vestal Residents for Safe Energy, City of Binghamton Against Fracking, and New Yorkers Against Fracking. I want to open with some statistics. In a poll released yesterday by the Civil Society Institute, more than 8 out of 10 Americans, 83%, including 69% of Republicans, 84% of Independents, and 95% of Democrats, agree with the following statement. Begin quote. The time is now for a new grassroots-driven politics to realize a renewable energy future. We need to take action to ensure that our taxpayer dollars support renewable energy and protect public health. I'm here today to pass along information to Governor Cuomo about how the southern tier really feels about hydrofracking. State Senators Levis and O'Mara have insisted that we residents of the southern tier are completely in favor of industrial gas extraction. No! This is not the case. Sorry, one minute. Yeah, a little bit. Many southern tier municipalities, including the city of Binghamton where I live, and communities spread throughout many counties have banned drilling, and there are current movements in the towns of Give me one moment. Vestal, Barker, Shenango, Owego, Spencer, and others that are continuously popping up. I even got a call from a gentleman today up in Northern Broome who's going to get a movement started. I want to focus for a minute on the incredible case of Owego. Despite industry propaganda being the only message that many residents have received, Owego Raft, that's Residents Against Fracking Tioga, Thank you. <laughs> collected a thousand signatures only a period over a period of only seven weeks. Sixty-eight percent, sixty-eight percent of residents signed the petition. The results cut perfectly evenly across party lines. These results show that residents are so opposed to natural gas extraction, they're giving up huge amounts of time to organize. When small communities can take leadership on an issue like this, it shows a tremendous amount of power. It cuts across socioeconomic groups and political parties. Governor Cuomo, your constituents are calling on you to ban fracking. Senator Tom Levis is incorrect. The southern tier does not want hydrofracking. We're here to say, Governor Cuomo, listen to us, not Levis. And with that, here is my good friend, fellow organizer, Morris Stevens. Thank you, Isaac.